What's up, Internet? It's your boy Hot Towel here, and I'm the creative director at X Service X Studios, where we make animations for brands and whatnot. So let's jump into today's video. Today we have Justin Bieber is done with Diddy after he wants him to keep quiet by none other than Anna Oop. Yeah, yeah, it's like, <laughs> exactly. Because he's such genuinely a nice person besides his talent. You know what I'm saying? He's one of the greatest kids that you could ever know. Justin, you. Y'all, the truth about Diddy and Justin Bieber's relationship is straight up chilling. Turns out Diddy is beyond mad that Justin is leaking some serious secrets and we're starting to see just how twisted things got between them. The threats, the shattered trust, the lies, everything Justin had to ignore just to keep his career alive. And get this, he's cut off from his family too. Once you hear his side, you'll get why he had to do it. This story is darker than a Diddy party at midnight. Y'all are so not ready for this one. What? Damn. I mean, he's. I mean, to a lot of us, he's like a, a little brother. You know what I'm saying? He's not afraid to call and ask for advice. He's somebody that, in the industry-wise, the record industry is a strong family, and he's somebody that you know we definitely have our arms around. And we want to protect him. All right. So let's set the scene. First things first, we gotta go back a few years to when Bieber was just a fresh-faced kid trying to make it in the music scene, and guess who was right there, ready to mentor him? Usher, who later handed him over to Diddy. Now, Usher. Dude, everyone's handing over their kids to Diddy, dude. They're handing everybody over to Diddy. Come on. Come on. Jaden, hand it over to Diddy. Bieber, hand it over to Diddy. Usher, hand it over to Diddy. Come on, guys. Jesus Christ, how many people is Diddy bopping in the booty, bro? Usher Diddy's oh, story is no wow. different from this one since people believe Usher paid such a hefty price for fame and was also a victim of Diddy, but that is a story for another day. The point is, what a lot of people didn't know was that Usher actually played a massive role in handing Bieber over to Diddy. So Justin's mom trusted Usher to take care of her son. And then, boom, suddenly Bieber's hanging out with Diddy, a man who's known for living life on the edge. Now, I'm not saying Usher knew exactly what he was doing, but let's be real here, he knew. He knew, dude. He knew. Come on. Usher went to the same Diddy school, bro. Where they're fighting over the frosted flakes. <laughs> Fast forward to 2011, Diddy? and here's where it starts to get weird. Bieber, who was still just 16 at the time, goes on Jimmy Kimmel Live with Diddy by his side. And y'all, if you watch that interview now, it is like a whole new world of cringe. Diddy straight up called Bieber his little brother, but in that same breath, he's throwing out lines that seem playful at first, but sound real strange now. Bieber mentions Diddy promised him a Lamborghini and didn't deliver, and that's when Diddy dead said Justin had the Lambo for a day or two, and he had access to the house, and he knows better than to be talking about the things that he does with Big Brother Puff on national television. <laughs> when is that coming, that Lamborghini? Lamborghini. We talked about this last he time. He had the Lamborghini for a day or two, and he had access to the house, and he knows better than be talking about the things that he does with Big Brother Puff on national television. <laughs> As you can see, Diddy was dead serious. Any adult telling a child not to talk about the things that they do needs to run and tell someone. The saddest part is that at the time, nobody thought that much of it. People just laughed it off like it was a joke, but now with everything we know about Diddy's recent charges and the shady stuff in his past, this line hits different. He was legit warning Bieber to keep quiet about their hangouts, and honestly, the red flag was there all along. But hold up, that wasn't the only sketchy situation. There are several other videos of them hanging out which are super sus that a grown man would be so keen on hanging out with an individual below the age. Looking at Diddy and Bieber's previous interactions, none of it looks like an innocent mentor-mentee relationship. He could have mentored Justin without giving him his house keys and questioning why they no longer hang out as often. It's important that you remember, Bieber was barely 15 when all this went down. This was a kick. Dude, what in the fucking Christ? Okay, so Justin Bieber is hanging out with Diddy. Okay, we understand that. But then why is Diddy hanging around with a 16, 15-year-old kid, dude? Like, what's, what, what's there to gain from that? Like, what's the point of that? Like, I don't, like, why? I get it. If you're going to be botty and do botty things, I get it. But why can't you do botty things with grown men? Why you got to do botty things with little children, dude? <laughs> My brain. My brain, dude. He should have been focusing on his music and enjoying his spotlight, not hanging around with a man who's notorious for pushing boundaries. This was a ticking time bomb that's finally going off now that the truth is starting to come out. Let's talk about Diddy's influence for a minute now that there's overwhelming evidence that Diddy was being Bieber, pulling him deeper into his world. It makes you wonder if Bieber even had a choice or if he was just another pawn in Diddy's game. Diddy's influence over Bieber was real. Diddy was always there in the background like a little puppet master pulling the strings. The fact that Diddy's charges involve some seriously heavy stuff make it impossible not to look back and question 
question everything. Furthermore, Justin's past involvement with the hip hop world adds another layer as to why Diddy might feel threatened by him speaking out. Bieber has been right there in the mix collaborating with some of the biggest names in Diddy's circle. He has seen it all, and if he starts casually spilling about the inner workings of the hip hop scene, it could shake things up. Diddy knows that if Justin starts sharing insider details, it's not just embarrassing, it's potentially explosive. There are things that Yo, they're, they're all gay together, dude. All of y'all niggas are gay together in the same bedroom, dude. It's so weird. So weird, dude. It's so strange. Ah! Go on in those circles that Diddy probably thinks Justin has no business talking about, and with Diddy already feeling the heat from those allegations, the last thing he needs is for Bieber to start blabbing about all the gritty details of that world. And to make this even worse, Justin's new focus on his Christianity could be adding fuel to the fire. In recent years, Bieber has openly embraced his faith, and he has made it clear that he is trying to live a more wholesome, accountable life. This new perspective might be clashing hard with the rougher, more cutthroat nature of the hip hop industry, so maybe, just maybe, Bieber's feeling like he has to shed some certain light on behavior and practices that don't sit right with him anymore. It's almost like he's trying to clear his conscience, putting distance between himself and that past. But from Diddy's viewpoint, that would be betrayal. Diddy might see Bieber's shift as a slap in the face as if Bieber's turning his back on the industry that helped him rise to fame. While so much damage has been done, there is still so much hope for Justin, and safe to say he is finally free. However, y'all, the story is far from over. There has been recent developments on Justin Bieber, which has his family super worried. Apparently, Diddy's arrest and the media bringing up Justin's past every so often, these stories have kind of made bieber relive a dark period you guys this is what i'm saying about all this is like how bad do you want it how bad do you want it hmm so you want to be a star eh but at what cost at what cost dude you know what's crazy about this is like I, I, I as a kid i was trying to get into the hollywood shit i'm not gonna lie to you i was trying to get into the hollywood stuff i went to auditions for some of the biggest studios universal warner all these big studios when i was like grade 10. i was in the 10th grade and i went to las vegas for like this talent show and i was selected by a handful of different studios bro and it was just a matter of going and living in hollywood to then start doing acting and pursuing all these things but my mother refused she didn't want to do it she refused to do it dude it's like i can only ever imagine at the time i didn't understand why she would say no but then looking back i'm kind of like dude i'm glad she didn't she didn't let us do she didn't let me do it because i would have i'm already mentally messed up dude imagine getting boffed up by all these executive producers dude <laughs> no, no. Period of his life that he never wanted to revisit. Word is that Bieber has been straight up retreating from the world. He lost trust in his closest circle, and insiders say he's barely letting anyone in. It's like just when he thought he could breathe again, those ghosts from his past came back to haunt him, and it's all just hitting a little too hard. The thing is, this is way more personal than his experience with Diddy. Bieber is looking back on those who are supposed to have his back, and he's not seeing any real loyalty there. And he rightfully has a reason to feel totally let down by people who should have protected him during those wild teenage years. It's like after becoming a father he's realizing he needs to protect his son in ways that he was never protected because every adult in his life basically just let him slip further into trouble and now he doesn't trust anyone even his own father jeremy bieber wasn't always a consistent presence in justin's life growing up he'd come around every now and then but he wasn't as hands-on during justin's early years jeremy only re-entered his son's life more significantly when justin started getting famous in fact their relationship hasn't been without issues jeremy has faced some criticism over the years with people questioning if he's been the best influence on justin especially during those wild years when justin was always in the headlines for party and getting into trouble. Had he been a present father, Justin wouldn't have veered off looking for a father figure in men like Diddy and Usher. It's impossible to ignore the fact that he came back actively to be closer to his son's money. A lot of people have supported Justin's actions to cut off everyone because there's no need to have an inner circle plus family when none of them can protect you. Again, he has a kid now that he has to protect with his life. And after going through all of that, it's understandable that he doesn't want anybody near his son, even if that decision sounds paranoid. Clearly, Bieber is still facing past demons, and it's not hard to see why he'd be feeling that way. I mean, if you had the kind of that Bieber had, you'd be wanted to. Those moments with Diddy are just the tip of the iceberg. He went through so much wild stuff back then, and let's just say it is not all sunshine and roses when you're thrown into the spotlight that young. Bieber's rebel phase was no joke. He got into some seriously messy stuff like that tour bus raid for illegal substances and getting jumped by the law for driving under the influence. Back then, people wrote him off as just another out-of-control celeb, but there was so much going on behind the scenes. It's like he was trying to escape from a world that wouldn't let him breathe, and now, even after trying to turn his life around, it's all catching up to him. Those moments, that regret, that feeling of betrayal? Fortunately for Justin, he has something to live for. Close sources have revealed that Justin might have his challenges, but by trying to be there- Dude, didn't the one, the, the dude from One Direction just, you know, 
took it on the balcony, dog. Come on. These things that people do in the in the world of Disney, in the world of, you know, Hollywood as young kids, as they grow up, man, it all starts to it all starts to come. The walls start closing in on you. The walls start to close in. Everything starts to close in. The images of Daddy, the images of Will Smith, they all start to close in. You start seeing penises everywhere. You don't know what's going on. Dick here, dick there. Trauma. The death. Yeah, the devil. The devil. <laughs> the devil is a son of a bitch, dude. So, I mean, a lot of y'all, for what, at what cost do you want fame? Because I'm telling you, there is isn't, there is a price to pay for fame. And you most likely will not be sleeping proper at night, dude. This is crazy. This is wild, man. There for his family is what keeps him grounded. Part of being a parent is enough reason to fight for his peace of mind. He's got Haley and baby Jack Blues to think about, and sources say that he's determined to be the best husband and father he can be, even if it means cutting ties with the rest of the world. The biggest concern right now is still whether Bieber can escape his past, even if there's always something or someone pulling him back. When you've been burned so many times, you need a little space to heal. And let's not forget, Bieber's been really open about his battles with anxiety and depression, and just the fact that he's been through the ringer with mental health. As if things couldn't get any messier for Bieber, a new song that sounds just like him popped up out of nowhere, and it details the very fine detail about the wild ditty parties. Y'all, this AI-generated track is going viral, and people are freaking out. The lyrics are seriously juicy, talking about Bieber losing himself at one of Diddy's parties, and even hinting that he was promised a Ferrari, but instead, it cost him way more than his soul. Someone is trying to drag Bieber right back into the spotlight for all of the wrong reasons, and the timing is just too right for it to be a coincidence. This song started blowing up on TikTok and YouTube, and since Diddy's arrest, it's only gotten more attention. Everyone is wondering if Justin actually dropped this track using AI to avoid controversies, because that's very much possible. There is a whole conspiracy theory brewing that. <laughs> I gotta find this song, dude. Maybe the song is an indirect way of Bieber trying to confess something about his past with Diddy. Sure, it's more likely that it is just AI, but you've got to admit the song sounds almost too real. Either that or someone else trying to stir the pot and throw him back into the drama. Anyways, experts are saying it's probably an AI-generated deep fake. Apparently, these tools are getting so good that you can barely tell the difference, which just makes it even more unsettling. AI experts have also added that this isn't just some random song, it is a deep fake that, while technically impressive, it is actually really messed up because it drags Bieber's name through the mud without him even being involved. Plus, these AI deep fakes are hard to track and even harder to take down. Imagine if someone had posted this song on Spotify and started making money off of it. That's cash going straight to some random person while Bieber is the one who has to deal with all the fallout. But that hasn't stopped fans from talking about the song because it is just too accurate. Even worse, some people have literally taken it at face value that this is Justin Bieber's latest song. Bieber's not addressing it because he has millions of followers on Instagram and he even gets paid close to $2 million to do a post on Instagram and he has hundreds of thousands thousands of followers on TikTok and YouTube. He's had over 11 of his videos hit a billion views on YouTube. So if his PR team addressed every unauthorized remake of his music, that would be all that they would be doing. And by the way, he just had a child three months ago. So he's busy with his family. Him and his PR team, they don't want to put unwanted attention on people that are trying to harm his brand. So now Bieber is trying Makes to focus sense. on his family and he's battling his trust issues. And now he's got this AI generated ghost of his past popping up just to remind him of everything he's been through. And all of this is happening just when he's trying to turn over a new leaf. It is like the universe just won't let him move on. Whatever the case, it is clear that Bieber's got a lot to deal with and it's not going to be easy for him to shake off this new wave of rumors and there you have it all the latest bieber drama tied up in a fierce in holy cow this is so exhausting keeping up with you hollywood ingrants bro this is so exhausting i'm like tired physically fatigued dealing with your ingrates in hollywood man but you all y'all niggas is fucking gay bro shit